this is the room that I'm gonna build into my hopefully dream office. There's a bunch of random things in here that need to get moved out before we start, but I just wanna tell you about kind of the key pieces that I'm gonna be using to build this dream desk office area space. So the first thing is this white trestle here. It's just a simple white trestle that will be the legs of the one side of the desk. And I like that it's white and the bottom of it can be used as a shelf as well, which is great. And then this guy here is a giant drawer unit from Ikea as well. And here is my pro tip for you guys. If you ever wanna get something off of Ikea, always look on Craigslist, Kijiji, whatever you have around you to see if someone's selling it because there are always Ikea items on there. And the best part is you can get them at a discounted price and they're already built, which is amazing. I got this guy off someone on Kijiji for about $40, but I think it sells in the store for around $150, which is just crazy. And it came built already, it's almost mint condition, and all of these drawers would have taken so long to assemble. So it's great that I didn't have to do that. Here's kind of what they look like. I just slide out. And I can organize all my office stuff in here. It's gonna be great. And this, again, is gonna act as the other side, or other leg, I guess you could say, of the giant desk I'm gonna build. Oh, and the other thing I'm using are these giant pieces of wood. These are two by tens, and they're cut to 10 feet long. I think I'll have to trim them to get them to fit the width of the wall, but we'll find out very shortly. And I have three of them, which is about the width I will need to cover um, that chest of drawers. So it's like almost, <laughs> almost long enough, or almost short enough. It's What's too the long. difference? It's too long. Here, my radio. I'm helping you. We're team. That's pretty close, eh? That's perfect. So you want the two by four to be in a little bit? Yeah, so you can see it, I guess. Well, you're gonna see it. <laughs> Why don't we? See <laughs> saw those legs shorter, pump so. Genius! It doesn't work, I've tried that before, it just doesn't work. What do you mean it doesn't work? You're never gonna get it straight, it's always gonna be wobbly. You guys are gonna say that I didn't build this, but this is my design. I could have done this myself, but if I was starting to do it, you would have come in here and told me I was doing it all wrong, I don't know what I'm doing. Do it yourself. Number eight, about two inch screws, and we have a lot. All right, so to fix the height issue, we put a two by four in here um, to raise this up so that this piece was flat now. I wanted to do something with the legs, maybe get new legs or put wood under there so that this could be flush and be prettier, but not too much work for today. We'll come back to that later if we want. So pretty much the last step is just doing more of these Two by fours under here to screw these all together so it's nice and strong and secure. And then that's pretty much it. It's really a simple desk, but it looks pretty uh, pretty legit because it's so long. So underneath the desk, there's just a piece of wood that has some screws in it going into the long pieces of wood to just hold it together.
All right, so this right here is just a giant faux marble porcelain tile. You can get this from the hardware store and they're supposed to sell them in boxes so that you can redo like an entire floor, but you can actually buy them as single pieces. So I bought just a big tile, like a single one, and it was probably like $3 for one tile. It looks just like Carrera marble, but it's not, it's just porcelain. And I'm gonna use this as my workspace on the desk because I didn't finish this wood or do anything to it. It can get scratched pretty easily. You can see there's already scratches on it. So this is going to be my little like <laughs> adult placemat, if you will, um, to do all my work on. So there's a little tip for you. These are just some birch slices that we had left over from that faux fireplace mantle we made forever ago, but they actually make the perfect on theme coasters for this desk. So that pretty much sums up what I've done to this desk so far. I'm absolutely in love with it. It's like the perfect minimal but like actually useful space for me to do work in. I, I love it so, so much. But I'll also show you quickly some other stuff I did in this office. So over on this wall, I put up this shelf that I had in my old bedroom um, with just some books that I really like. My memory box, DIY memory box that has a bunch of tickets from things. My silver play button and just some larger headphones that wouldn't fit in the drawers. And then below it, I have my Ellie poster that I love so much still. It's covering up kind of an ugly outlet at the moment. And then this silver fan. I mean, it's like almost winter here now, but I just like that it's silver. It kind of goes with the rest of the room. So I have that down there as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this more chill DIY style video. If you like this kind of format, let me know and I can do more of it. And if you have an office, let me know what your favorite part of it is. I will see you next time. Bye guys.